Hey Eskimo Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Custom Robo for the GameCube. Now, last we left off, we beat a tournament. Oh, you're all dressed and ready to go. Good luck at work. I've decided to go to Daimon for some Chinese food today. Yum. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Um... Chief? Hey! Hey, Marsha, you're here. So what happened yesterday? Nothing. It was nothing, really. She's been like this all day. I try to talk to her and she just clams up, all clam-like. We're supposed to be partners, but she's not acting real, real partnerly, you know? I... I'm sorry for leaving. I can't figure her out. Harry, give her some space. She'll talk about it if she wants to. But you can't force her. A score in. Hey, Ernest. I see you're all here. Good. Now listen up. Lately, we've had a real bad run of luck. You all seem overworked and just a little stressed. Marsha, I'm looking at you. Anyway, surprise! I've entered you all in today's battle tournament. You did what? Come on, Chief. You know how tired we are. So why not just give us the stinking day off? Hey, I paid your entry fees. You should show a little appreciation. And you better win, you hear? If you do, it'll be great publicity for our office. So that's what this is about. You couldn't care less how we tired we are. He's not worried about us at all, isn't that right, Marsha? It must have been him. It looked just like him. Hey, Marsha! Huh? Oh, the tournament. Um, it sounds like fun. I agree. Oh, not you too. Why did I even bother getting out of bed this afternoon? All right, team. You got your assignment. The tournament is at the training gym. Do whatever it takes to win. Remember, it's for the good of the office. For Steel Hearts. How expensive are these robots? If, like, everyone has them. There are still aren't too many people here. We've got a little time before things get started. I'm gonna go look around. You guys better win your matches. Here's how we'll do it. I'll win first place, Marsha can have second, and Escorian you take third. Why is that? Why don't we each try our best and see what happens, right, Marsha? But why now? Marsha, are you listening? Oh, huh? Yeah, that sounds good. Right, see you at the finish line, or Coliseum, whatever. Escorian, chat up some of the competition. You're still an amateur, no matter what you might think. See what you can learn from these people. You've probably noticed, but custom robos remain in cube form until they go into battle. Once a robo transforms, it's only about 30 centimeters tall, just so you know. Alright, I'll tell you something more useful. Have you seen the bomb graph? Check on the customized robo screen. You'll see attack, which is how much damage a bomb does. Obviously, the higher the bar is, the more damage your bomb does. Speed shows the speed at which the bomb moves. The higher the bar, the faster the bomb moves towards its target. Useful info, huh? A little too useful, don't you think? It doesn't look like all the of the contestants are here yet. Well, if you've got some time to kill, maybe I can give you a little information. Let me tell you a bit about the bomb graph. It's on the customized robo screen. Size refers to the bomb blast radius. That's how big the area affected by the bomb will be. The higher the bar, the bigger the blast radius. Tim refers to the blast time. That's how long the blast effect will remain after the bomb explodes. Same deal here, too. The higher that bar is, the longer the blast sticks around. Down is the bomb's knockdown power. That's sort of like how much force the bomb has. The higher the bar, the more knockdown force the explosion has. You know what I mean? Anyway, I shouldn't say too much since we're both competing, so I think I'll shut up now. You have to win five consecutive matches to take the championship. It's tough. I might be young, but I've put in a lot of hours on the training machines here. Here, let me show you some of what I've learned. Do you know how... A much about the pod graph on the customized screen. HMG means homing, that's how far a pod will chase its target. The higher the bar, the longer it chases. Size shows the size of the pod's blast, the higher bar means bigger blast. Tim is the amount of time the blast remains. Again, the higher the bar, the longer it lasts. So what do you think, am I a genius or what? No. It looks like 32 competitors have signed up for the tournament. They're not all here yet, by the way. I'll explain the robo graph on the customized 
Down is endurance. It shows how much abuse a robo can take before it's knocked down. The higher the bar, the harder it is for the robo to get knocked down. Defense is defense. How much a robo can take. The higher the bar, the less damage your robo takes from attacks. Some of the others here could probably tell you more. This is just the first step on my road to becoming a great commander. I'm gonna win today. Too bad my father couldn't be here. I guess they've got something going on at the lab. I'll make him proud, even if he's not here to see me win in person. Tell me something about Robo. Hmm? Oh yeah, let me tell you a little something about the Robo customization. On the Robo graph, speed stands for speed. The higher bo the bar, the faster you can move. Sky measures your Robo's aerial abilities. That's how well it moves in the air. Same feel. Attack stands for attack. It's your Robo's base attack strength. The higher the bar, the more damage you can do. That's all I could tell you. Ask the others for more info. I'll be the winner, Marsha. What, you got a problem with the plan? I'll be the MC for a little tournament today. We still have time. Wanna chat? Right, so let's chat about the pod graph. It's on the attack is attack. You probably figured that out. It shows how much damage your pod does when it hits. The higher the damage... Uh, and speed is speed, how fast it moves. The higher the bar, the faster the pod. That's all I've got to say. I don't play with robos myself, but you learn a lot working here. This is boring. Why don't they start? When is it gonna start? I'm tired of waiting. Oh, it's you, Escorian. I'm not- oh, I'm not competing. I'm just here to root for someone. I'm not rooting for you. Anyway, who's taking them- what's taking them so long to start? Care to talk for a bit? I mean, what else are we gonna do? The gun graph. There's nothing more interesting than the gun. HMG stands for homing. It shows how long the round follows its target. The higher the bar, the longer it pursues. RPD is short for rapid fire, which is just a fancy way of how, saying how fast the gun fires. Uh, down is the gun's knockdown power. That's how good the gun is knocking robots down. The higher the bar, more force. Well, that's all I'm done talking and we still haven't started. Maybe I should take a nap. We wanted to avoid the line, so we got here early. Now we all just want to go home. The kids are bored, my wife is bored, and heck, I'm bored too. Maybe talking to you will make me a little less bored. Let's talk about the gun graph. That should be interesting. Attack shows how much damage it will inflict. Speed shows the speed of fired rounds. Well, I'm still bored. Why don't you go talk to my wife for a minute? It's been a while since I was in a tournament. I'll have to focus really hard. But I don't want to fight right now. Thank you all for waiting. Let's begin the battle tournament. All the competitors should now take their assigned places. Um... Good luck, Harry's waiting for you at the battle table. Isn't that the kid that lives next door to you? Don't expect me to go easy on you just because you're my neighbor. That kid's got guts. Try not to let him beat you, Escorian. When you charge by using the X button, your robo is invincible while it is lit up. If you time your charge right, you can approach your opponent while dodging his attacks. Watch out though, you'll be vulnerable to attacks right before and after you charge. Got it? Got it. Okay, don't underestimate him just because he's a kid. He's probably a better fighter than his parents. Also, how expensive are these robos? Run away, uh, child! Oh god. You fool! You've fallen for my plan!
That poor kid just got rocked. No mercy! Goodbye, kid. There we go. I win! Got a flex on the kid. Win flank pod G. I lost on the first match! Oh, hey kid, don't feel too bad. You did good. You put up a good fight. Phooey! If I'd been fighting Harry, I would've won for sure. Huh? Oh yeah, uh, I'm sure you would've done better. In your dreams. After that little incident you saw, the police made me shut down the restaurant. They said I should've called them first. Anyway, I need money, so I've joined this tournament. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your battle goes well. Thanks. Maybe once they let me reopen, I can advertise Daimon as the Restaurant of Champions. I'm not sure Robo Battle skills really make for a better restaurant. You can use the Air Dash in a bunch of different ways. You can pretend you're gonna land and then fool them with a feint, or you can charge right in. You can also dodge bullets if you time it right. But you'll be vulnerable when you land. Got it? Sure. Okay, now I figure you've got it made here. Seriously, how can you lose against a cuck? But play it safe. Huh. Nice coloring. I didn't really get anything I cared about. I got a twin... Three... Oh, nice landing! God, that shotgun to the face! Ooh, I want that gun. Give me your gun! I remember that gun being really good. As you can see... <laughs> he blew himself up. Wow, this robot goes down really easy. Like, literally a single bullet. Got him with the rock. You win! You now have high jump at legs. My hopes, my dreams, my restaurant of champions, all gone, gone! You know, maybe it'd be better advertising if you entered like a cooking contest instead. You, you're right, I'm sure I could win a cooking contest. Thank you! Thank you! I never thought of that! I don't have a clue what you were thinking in the first place. Um... Arch generator. We're gonna stick with what we have. Who's this? Oh, you look familiar! Oh god, it's the girl that was dating two guys. Have we met? Uh, back at Hub Park. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe a few days? Did you take me out for a date there or something? I'm sorry, I really should remember. I only really remember the good dates and the really awful ones, and you look like you'd be memorable. Uh, um, thanks? How do I tell her we didn't date? Anyway, how do, how'd you get this far in the ch uh, championship? I met all these cute boys today and told, I told them we could go on a date if they lost to me, so they did. She might not be a good commander, but she's got some mean skills. What about you? You probably want a date too, don't you? You boys are all the same. Sorry, not interested. 
Those words, they make no sense to me at all. Are you sure? I'm so cute. Oh, I got it. You already got have a someone special in your life. Whoa, don't go getting the wrong idea. So you're actually going to try fighting me? Well, just because I'm adorable doesn't mean I'm a pushover. She could push me over anytime. Oh, well, I guess I'll show you what Earth my aerial beauty robo can do. An aerial beauty, huh? The aerial beauty model moves excellently in the air. It can do an air dash, but it can do something called a continuous jump. It can move quicker than Shining Fighter, but its offense and defense are lower. If you're using an aerial battle, a beauty, you're not going to attack directly. Instead, you'll probably spend a lot of time dodging and moving to get the best position. Marsha's Milky Way is also an aerial beauty model. She told me that's how she fights. Got it? Sure. Got it. Just because you want to go on a date, don't give you doesn't give you the excuse to lose. I remember liking these. Ah, I landed on a six. Although it doesn't seem that bad. Nice, I, I stopped the... Ooh! Shotgun up the ass! You're pretty easy. Hello? Can you break the arena? I noticed the uh, arena lights up when you damage it. Bye. Okay, Marsh or not Marsha, whatever her name is. I win! King Kong wins. Oh, hey, I have access to Earth. Oh, I lost. You're not too bad with a robo. Even though you beat me, we can still go out if you want. Huh? Really? You lie! Tell me you're lying! Oh, hey, cutie. Are you busy right now? Let's go grab some food. What just happened? Great job, Escorian. You made it to the semifinals. Well, I made it too. I beat my three opponent matches, and my next opponent is... You gotta be kidding! Marsha? Ah, I lost. I I'm sorry. Are you alright, Harry? Marsha wins the match. Alright, Marsha moves on to the next round. Oh, I get to fight face him, huh? Alright. Let's put Earth in on. Let's see if we can handle... Javelin criminal? Um, gray earth. I am a cat! Hmm, not bad if you've come all this way. Had a little luck with the drawings? But, you're going to lose here, so I guess you aren't that lucky. Darn it, I lost to Marsha! Scoring, you'd... You're definitely gonna bump into Marsha in the finals. Haha! <laughs> Foolish or er, fools? What are you talking about? I'm the one going to the finals. Because Marsha's uh, robo has excellent aerial abilities. Yo! Hey! Don't ignore me! Huh? Oh, hey, Evil, what's up? Ascorian, hurry up and put Evil in his place. To change where your bomb is targeting, hold R and move the control stick. 
Some bombs change their drop zone. You can use them to block your opponent's path. Got it? Sure. Got it. Don't worry, that's evil's nothing. That evil's nothing. Alright, Team Rocket, let's go. God, I hate your robot's design. Four. Three. Two. One. Damn, I'm gonna be on a six. Got a nice, good, clean charge on him. I'm a cat. You now have access to the Gatling gun. Ooh, that sounds fun. Impossible! How did this happen? Scorion, you tried to trick me. You had me believing you were an amateur. No newcomer possesses the skill to defeat me. You, sir, have lied to us all. Impressive. Way to go, we're in the finals. Hey, stop ignoring me! I kind of want to try this gun, but I also really like this five-way gun. Power increases, but accuracy decreases. Okay. I don't really want to fight you. You didn't say anything like that when you fought me. Humph. Alright, here's the deal. We all work for the same place, so I can't officially take sides. But I'm secretly rooting for you because I know I could have beaten you if I had a real chance. Harry, quit being such a weasel and give Escorian some tips before we start. Why is she bossing me around all the time? No way, good luck Escorian, you're on your own this time. I definitely like the five way more. I wish I had gone with the five way, not this piece of crap. Oh, oh that was 
was close. Booster legs. I win! I can't believe it. When did you get so good? Ascorian, you're amazing! <laughs> yeah, the guys pulled off the win. Harry, you lost. I beat you. Why are you celebrating? Uh, why'd you have to remind me? And so this year's winner and new the champion is... Ascorian! How do you feel about this? Your greatest victory. Uh, Steel Hearts deserves credit. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not the winner here. Steel Hearts, home of the finest bounty hunters, is. Um, if you happen to have any problems, don't hesitate to call Steel Hearts. We're in the book! Look us up and give us a call! He really went through with it. Suddenly, I'm glad I didn't win. Hmm, I thought we had agreed that I'd be first, Marsha in second, and you in third, but... Oh well, at least one of us won. Marsha's already gone home. Escorian, what are you doing after this? I'm going home. Okay then, maybe Sophie will want to do something with me. I'm going to bug her until she agrees to a date. Don't be that guy. Ever. Ring. Ugh, the phone? Yeah, yeah. Escorian, we've got work. Head over to the research labs. Lab? That's right, Linda called us. She wants us on guard duty. Harry and Marsha are already there. They're waiting for you. My character looks groggy as shit. Booster legs. Uh, let's change my gun before I forget. Hmm. Like this. Wah! You scared me! Oh, it's finally happened. You woke up on your own. I don't have to get you out of bed anymore. Oh, uh, no. The phone woke me. I got a call from my chief about work. Oh, so you didn't actually get your up by yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I gotta hurry up and get over to the research center. I see. Well, I guess you don't have time to chat. Have a good day at work. What? Do, do they not have alarm clocks in this world? Like, for real. You must be with Steel Hearts. Linda is waiting. Please go on in. Linda is waiting in the reception room. It's the room directly behind me. So if I go this way... Oh, you actually can't explore. Okay. The hologram of a custom robo. Hey, it's Rail One. That's my robo. Top secret? What's up, Biscorian? Good morning, Harry. Good morning, Marsha. Oh, good morning. What's wrong? I don't want to do this job. I don't like this place or the researchers here. Marsha? Oh, I'm sorry, but it's our job. We have to do it. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for showing up. Oh, God, him. I see, the gang's all here. Evil, you again! You show up late and that's all you gotta say? Oh yes, Dark Blue has been assigned to guard in this area since the attempted burglary. Please, Harry, no fighting in the lab. Initially, my men were standing guard, but I've opted to take the assignment myself. As you know, I did a fine job last night. You're wasting your money on these guys, Linda. But do what you want. Just keep them out of my way, dear. Man, I hate that guy. It must be a lot of work if you're hiring both us and Dark Blue. What happened? We're very worried. The lab has been targeted for something, but we're not sure what. These past few days, dark figures have been sighted and security devices have been destroyed. We found our labs in disarray in the mornings. Those guys at Dark Blue are jerks, but they're good mercs. So whoever it is must be really good if they're getting past Dark Blue. Yes, Evil said he was ashamed, so he's been here since yesterday to restore his honor. But I still feel like we need the additional support here. You sure you're not just worried about Dark Blue? They're clearly dropping the ball here. That's why you should stick with Steel Hearts. Please don't say that. Evil's the one who insisted on guarding these labs. He said he would feel horrible if something happened here, so he's volunteered to work for free. They're working for free?! Ernest would never do that. 
Excuse me, can you think of any reason why your labs have been targeted? Well, we're funded by the government to do cutting-edge robo-research. It could be anyone. Why haven't you called the police? The police? They're too busy sponsoring tournaments and distracting the populace. I hadn't noticed, but yeah, you're right. Also, to a fine, this is a fine chance to gather more data on Escorian's abilities. His abilities? Why are you wasting time with him when you've got a real star right here? For example, me! Oh, Harry, of course I'm counting on you. There's no need to be childish. Yeah, <laughs> she thinks I'm manly. Well, I appreciate it. Scorian, Harry, you can use this room. Marsha, would you mind staying with me? There's something I need to talk to you about. Uh, um, it's alright. We'll talk over a cup of tea. Remember, I'm on your side. Well, if we're going to have to stay here all night, I'll just put my things in Linda's room. Oh, alright. That means I'll have to share a room with Escorian. No way! <laughs> Maybe next time, Harry. But don't hold your breath. Keep a close watch on the research labs, but you'll have free reign of the facilities. Come with me, Marsha. You can share my room and we'll talk. Okay, so how about we take a look around? Let's split up. That always sounds like a good idea. Go talk to the facts. See what info they got. And don't go off and chat up... Uh, or, and don't go off and catch a nap or chat up the girls. I thought that was your job. Huh? You say something? Okay, I'm gonna go look around. It's a model of a gun. It's a model of pot and legs. It's kinda hard to tell what kind of legs if they're not actually on the robo. Gun. Hmm, what a dusty book. When was the last time anyone read this? A model of a robo and a cube. It's bigger than a real robo. Gathering information? Good boy, just make sure I don't have to look at you too long. Shut up. I always keep my card key in my drawer, but this morning I found it on top of my desk. The card key is the only way to unlock the emergency exit, but... Why was it on top of my desk? Should I be telling you this? You're probably thinking we scientists all look the same, huh? Well, I'll have you know we're all quite different. I, for example, develop robo-legs, while my partner develops er, different kinds of robo-legs. It's odd. I feel like someone's been in the research lab, but the tapes don't show anyone in there. It's locked and it won't open. There, there's a button here. I want to press it, but I shouldn't. Press the button. Linda and I are talking. We're fine, all right? Would you please go somewhere else? This is private. Do you mind? This is a private room, after all. Yes, that's a closet. Very insightful. Why don't you focus that key in mine elsewhere? It's an emergency exit, but it's locked. Weird. It looks like it uses a special key. The emergency exit is normally locked, but yesterday it wasn't. It, I locked it right away, though. Two days ago, someone found that part of our security system had been sabotaged. We got it back up and running right away, though. The guy from Dark Blue wearing the sunglasses was guarding here, but evil, the Dark Blue boss, took his place yesterday. emergency exit. It looks like it needs a card key to open. Not much of an... Yeah, no. Custom Robo in this room are still under development. When we're finished, we shrink them into cube form. Anyway, what did Harry come in here for? The emergency exit outside this room is always locked. You need a card key to open that door. All the researchers here carry a card key. Is he always like this? Because he's really getting on my nerves. Is this his idea of flirting? Because I'd feel bad for anyone who actually went out with him. So, you got, you've got you talked to everyone? Good, I'm all done here too. Done with what? With getting shot down? Let's go back to the reception room. How did it go? Did you find anything? I found that girl who's Sherry is awfully cute. I'm amazed you still have a job. Do you ever work? I was just joking. My interrogation revealed that no one could have gotten in and that Sherry's busy all week. 
Linda said the same thing. I mean, not about Sherry. I mean, about the security being solid. What did you find out, Escorian? I trust no one here. I trust no one here. It had to have been an inside job. Yeah, with things locked up as tight as they are around here, it had to be an inside job. You might be right. Linda certainly agrees. Yeah, I'm sure she knows her own colleagues well enough to know if she can trust them. It's like you don't want to believe that the person you've trusted for so long will betray you. Marsha! I understand how you feel. Let's worry about catching the culprit. We'll need some evidence if we're going to sort this out. Let's snoop around when the employees go home tonight. What? Don't you think that's unethical? Dude, I already don't even know what unethical means. Besides, Linda, sca Linda gave us total permission. Free run of the place, right? Right, Marsha? What? Oh, uh-huh. Okay, it's settled. I called dibs on Linda's room. It's just a joke. Okay, looks like the researchers went home. Let's split up and look around. Listen, Escorian. You think something suspicious, press A to check it out. Got it, press the A to check. Yep, okay, okay, A button, anything suspicious. It's in my head, I got it. Right, let's go. Okay. Did he? You need to check this room? Fine, feel free to look around. Uh-oh. You might find the body I've stashed in there. Just kidding, but really, would you stop looking around in my room? I need some sleep. I'd like it if you'd stop staring at my closet of drawers. I think you have got better places to check. Really, I think there are better places to check. Uh, I think you've looked... Look, it's just a bed. Nothing more, nothing less. What's that over there? You don't suspect me, do you? Yes, yes I do. That's a big screen. Table, what do you... So There's a custom robo here. They might be testing it. Wait, what? What, you expected something else? What was that? Marsha, Scorion, the reception room! But the button! Where's the reception room? Look, the glass is broken. Did you see anything? I saw a dark cloaked figure run outside right when I came into the room. But why? Why? Why raid the lab? Who knows? Anyway, let's investigate. If they planted a bomb here, things could get ugly. Let's split up. Again. I don't trust you. Just a table. No bomb here. No bomb here. No bomb here. OG Kenjo? Never heard of him, is he? No bomb. Can't find anything. Wait, why do we think there might be a bomb here? You can never be too sure. I'm sure I scared them off before they could set it off. Got a bad feeling about this. Let's go check all the other rooms again. Well, what's going on here? Curses! You were tricked! They broke the window to lure us into the reception room. They might still be inside. Let's split up. Um... I'm gonna go check on Linda. I'll watch over this room. Go see if there are any other enemies around. But where's Linda? <laughs> you want to mess with me? I'll take you down. What is that? Opponent data. A glaive. A strike vanisher. Okay. Start battle. You have to deal with a cat! I hope you're not allergic! Three, two, one!
I blew myself up. Oh, he's got the Gatling, eh? I still have well. Ow! What the heck? What? Nah. Nerd blew up his own mind. Okay. I need you to stop. Oh my god. Ah, oh my eye. There we go. Now we're back to even hell. There we go. What? Aha! I killed him. Throwing pod D. <laughs> Curses! You'll regret the day you messed with Z. Why are we letting him get away? <laughs> ah, you want some? I'll show you something you'll never forget. Another straight vanisher? Oh, gross. Nope, no, 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 no. Dude's laying actual mines. I'll even walk into your bum. <laughs> or I'll stay in your bum. Double mind bomb. He's too strong. You'll pay for this. Why, why are we letting them just run away? 
I'm actually gonna equip that one. The spiders don't seem to be humping me much though. Throwing. Let's try that. Gemini double mine. That's what I was looking for. Siddharth's totally working with them, right? Fine, go check on the others. Okay. Let me guess, Harry got his ass kicked. It's someone from Z. Check out the other rooms while I take care of this guy. I'll get rid of you first. Another strike vanisher, huh? Three, four, three, two, one. Does he have that gun too? Oh god, I'm destroyed. Let's try this again. Should have trained a little more, Brett. We haven't come across the model I used to use a lot. Ah! Oh, wanted that like 300 damage from the start. Oh, you are dead this time, buddy. What? 
I say that and then I proceed to start sucking. There we go. Cat wins! Great bomb tea. Oh, not bad. But with your skills, you're no match for Eliza. Long live Eliza. Okay, but... No one... Harry and Marsha were in these two. Uh, Scorian, there must be... Go check outside the lab. Okay. I'm apparently not allowed to check that door. Resistant Z, such a brave young girl. But you were just a tad overconfident about your strength, it seems. When you meet your better, the wisest course of action is to flee, you see. Marsha! Are you okay? Escorian, run! I've never been in such a strenuous holoceum. She's too strong. What should I do? Fight. I'm next. It's payback time. Oh, this boy is my next opponent. Well, well, this should be fun. You like hurting people, do you? Well, let's see how for you like feeling the hurt yourself. You beat Marsha. How can I possibly win? But I can't leave Marsha all alone. Scorian, don't. Forget about me. Please, run away. Don't worry, Marsha. I'm going to give it my best shot. But I wish you'd cheer me on instead of telling me to run away. It'd make me feel more confident. Scorian. Oh, how touching. But you two obviously have some issues you'll need to work out in your own time. I've got a little lesson for the two of you. I'll teach you how foolish your notion of justice is. You make me sick. Ha ha ha. So much anger for such a nice young boy. It looks like you need a spanking. Oh, don't cry about it. After my lesson, you'll find you have many better reasons to cry. An aerial beauty, huh? Okay. I like these mines. What in the world? Three, two, one. Actually, this. She countered! <laughs> this is such a weird arena. Also... What is her gun and missile and stuff? Ah, shit! She, she's winning! Don't get cocky! Shit! A bull! Okay, okay. 
Oh, bullshit! No! Woohoohoo! Oh! Way too close! Oh, what a surprise! Not bad. It looks like you're good enough to stand up to the Z Syndicate after all. Well, I must be going. Things to do, you see. But you've done well, so I'm willing to forgive you this time. And I did have fun, I must say. So until we meet again, adieu. <laughs> Marsha! Are you two okay? Hmm. That woman from Z was too strong. Don't tell me. You lost, Marsha. You're kidding. I'm sorry, but I lost. And Escorian defeated her? Hey, 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 you're not half bad. No, that's not right. During the battle, she said that our time was up and left. Huh? Even though Escorian knew he was going to lose, he still fought. Well, anyway, she was strong. Good work, Escorian. You did well. Look, I didn't do anything. Just accept it, okay? By the way, the guy I just fought dropped his Robocube when he escaped. This is it. Let me see it, Harry. I'll try to half-dive. What should I say? Don't be so rash. You're still hurt from that last battle. Scorian, you set the example yourself. I have to keep going, no matter the odds. Now it's my turn. I'm going to be fine. Leave it to me. <laughs> Are you okay, Marshall? I'm fine. Z's the boss, the one in charge, died. Actions, groups, they've split up, scattered. What was it? A power struggle or something? A dispute among the groups, something like that, I'm not too sure. Hmm, a dispute over power, so what was the reason for hidden lab? That, I don't know. They were looking for something. I don't get it, but they must think there's something powerful here that will help them out. So whatever they're looking for is here? You'd think so. We need to ask Linda. Just what are they after, Linda? Don't hide it from us, you have to tell us if we're gonna help you. I'm sorry, I can't think of anything. Nothing comes to mind. I'll check to see if anything's been stolen. It looks like the researcher's desk and shelf have been tampered with. Oh, sorry, we did that. I told you we should have been tidier. Well, it's too late now. You were the one who were who was tearing through all the paperwork. Harry, you were the one that told him to. Marcia, you were in on it too. I know. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. You're right. What is it? What are you whispering about? Oh, nothing. Should we report this to the police? Yes, it involved a Z syndicate strike. We should report it. We better split if the police squad's gonna show up. I don't want to run into my sister here. Thank you, everyone. Scorian, good work. We're done for the day. What are you gonna do after this? I'm gonna go home. I'm tired. Yeah, you do that. See ya. Ring! Yeah, yeah. Scorian, get up! Oh, Chief, good morning. Good morning. Do you know what time it is? Get over to Bogies right now. You'll meet up with Marsha and Harry there. Bogies again? I don't know much about it, but some strange robo is making a scene. Get over there. Straight bomb tea. All right. With that, Eskonites, we're going to call this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Eskonites, share the love. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.